We are going to uh, replace the uh, oil sensor on my uh, 2002 Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee and uh, we're going to have to get up underneath here and replace that oil sensor that is up behind the blue oil filter right there. So I'm going to have to probably take that blue oil filter out to be able to get to that sensor. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Let's get that. So we can put this in. And I bought this uh, 27 millimeter uh, ratchet so I can get that uh, oil pressure sensor out. So we're going to give that a shot right now. All right, I took the uh, oil filter off and uh, I'm going to be going after this. And I got to pop this clip off uh, to pull this off and then I'll be able to extract the uh, oil pressure sensor from there. So that's going to be my next task is uh, figuring out how to undo this clip to pull the, the wire off the your sensor. Most of these uh, uh, wires have a clip on it and I'm looking and probing and looking for the clip and I'm not really seeing anything so I decided to uh, go ahead and just kind of pull on it and it just pops right off and I notice mine's kind of oily and I'm gonna have to clean all that out uh, before I go ahead and put it in, but I'm gonna put my ratchet on this thing and pull this thing off. So that's my next goal is to get that sensor out. We're gonna put this ratchet on here. It's a half inch and, and it's coming right off. Glad I bought the socket. Do it with an open end wrench would have been a nightmare trying to get to that sucker. And it's got to be a deep socket. So that fit right on that thing. And now I'm just twisting it off with my hand. There you go. So there you go. That's the old one. And I did spray some carburetor cleaner. And I took a rag to that and looks like I still need to clean that up a little bit more before I put it back all in. So I'm halfway a new one right here, nice and clean. We're gonna put that right up in there. Probably gonna have to put my camera down for a second and so I so I can put that in there. Alright, I had to come at it with my other hand. I just couldn't couldn't uh, get the angle to put that on. So it's, I'm tightening it up now and we'll have to put the ratchet on it and, and finish it off there. So, right, so there we go. So I got the ratchet on it now, tighten it up. It seems to be going on there pretty good. getting tight now. Alright, I don't want to overdo it. I think, I think that's good enough. Alright, cool. So, put the new one on. Alright, I got the uh, clip back in there and now I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, oil filter back on. All right, we're going to turn this sucker over and uh, see what happens. There's 
the oil gauge going up. That's typically where it sits prior to it weirding out on me. Um, so it looks like uh, it's working. The last time I had this thing turned on, it was reading zero. So that's where it typically sits. So hopefully we've got it. And uh, thanks for uh, staying tuned. Once again, this was on a 2002 Jeep uh, Grand Cherokee with the 4.7 liter v8 engine so hopefully this was helpful to you have a great day bye